Welcome back to Booty Session 12, Part 2. I'm your host, Alex Smith. I'm the dungeon master, but not that kind of dungeon, you kinky bugger. I'm joined by the three excellent characters and the people that play them. Now they are Ross Hornby, Chris Trott, and Craig Frost. Hello. And they're playing a turtle, a hobgoblin, Total. and a fish man. He's a turtle. Come it's, on. Sorry. He's no, not a fish man. Oh, come on. <laughs> How come he got yes. the proper title? There's not many, like, offensive terms for hobgoblin. I don't want to be, yeah, they've already had a hard enough time. Right. All right. That's fair. They don't need any more discrimination. Hobnobs. Hobnobs. <laughs> a biscuit. <laughs> um, right, so we left them right on the cliff. Ooh. Um which was a cliffhanger, the crowd of zombies, let's call them, mushroom zombies, have moved from the trees behind them out into this clearing where they're already having somewhat of an altercation with a team of dastardly pirates. Something's been happening. They've been burying stuff in the ground. These guys have started to loot them. They've also incapacitated and tied up a loxodon using its own trunk. It was, yeah, part of The trunk has been weaved into the ropes. Yeah. In quite an embarrassing and what is probably quite an insulting thing to do to a loxodon, um, which if you're not familiar well, the DM with a humanoid to do elephant. Something to the trunk and I couldn't say no. Yeah, would you like to do something to the trunk? And so these pirates, they've confronted the group and they've said, what are you doing here? You shouldn't be here. Something's clearly up. BP tried to charm them, but it failed. Well, he tried to charm the, the loxodon. Sword saw that it wasn't going the right way, so made the snap decision to knock the Loxodon out. His pirate crew eventually found them after some not so subtle communication between the group. Um, Titus tried to disguise himself as one of these uh, mushroom co walking corpses, uh, being a Triton himself. It worked for a while until his patience snapped. And instead, he threatened to smite them with, I think, we ended at one billion suns? Trillion. I went to trillion. Trillion. The power of a trillion suns. Smite them with the power of a trillion suns, which brought the group into initiative. But this wasn't before the rustling in the bushes occurred and the zombies approached from the rear. We but before flanked. all that, whilst this was live, and in the previous episode where Sword made the great decision to put a special kind of mushroom on his head, which later irritated his skin, made him swell up and some of his hair fall out. Our artist, um, who's been working on much of what you've seen in this series, Kasper Lundsfried, um, is, uh, he's, he's drawn, drawn Sword with less hair. Audio listeners. Oh, oh no! We're looking at Sword with very patchy hair on top. <sighs> there seems to be some sort of pole revealed underneath all my hair that was keeping the, the slick back <laughs> Uh, volumized <laughs> look gone. of the, my hair. To be honest, Sword looks pretty badass with less hair. I could see Sword with a shaved Shade head, head looking and pretty beard, good. Yeah. The shaved head and beard looks pretty pretty. Are you classic? saying that I should shave my head? In you you in reality should shave your head. Yeah, exactly. Also, yeah, if you grow the beard out a bit more, get it pointy. Yeah. Um, but also, you've Can't got a big splash of like acid kind of wound on your... I do have that wound. ...right side of your face. Yeah. How did that happen? Have you ever no, revealed? Is that not part of this or is that part of the... It's a tragic backstory. Was that part of your backstory? Or was that part it's of the tragic wound? backstory? So that's not a new wound. No, this is an old wound. Oh, true. Yeah, this one you have like a little mask on, is it? On the original image. A mask. Or, oh yeah. Is there, that, or is that the wound? There was a mask. There was an eye patch. Yeah, before, there was. Yeah, but you, I gave up. He just proudly wears. His but this scars is now, now you as a balding, a few hairs left on your mm. head after the, putting a silly mushroom on it. Yeah. 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 Nice. Well, you know there are. Your actions have consequences, and this exactly. is one of them. You now have less hair, and as such, you, your charisma stat is reduced by one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Your charisma's been taken back. Okay. <laughs> That's a hard stat reduction. I mean, wow. Bru yeah. Some would say brutal. Some yeah. would say brutal. He hasn't been using his looks for the, most of the campaign. But <laughs> no. Okay. No, no, no. But he has lost one charisma point. You are now proficient in intimidation, however. Oh, nice. It's gone up. I don't know if the D and D Beyond supports this kind of modification to a character, but um, who cares? They're not here. Who cares? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. My, my game now. Let's continue with the combat. <laughs> Fuck the zombies! <laughs> Back in battle, flanked on both sides. Back in battle. <laughs> however, the pirates have seen that this is happening and they have stepped back. They see that they're coming for you first. They know that sound may attract them. So quietly, they have receded back from where you are yeah. and set How up- How many feet? 50 feet. Okay. 
they <laughs> have set up gun positions. They each pull their front locks. Oh, right. A couple of them have muskets. They place them down between the eaves of trees. They balance them on rocks and branches with uh, the guns lined up, pointing at both you and the zombies. You think they probably want to shoot the zombies more than you, but hell, you're in between, and if you die, well, that's one more problem solved for them. They don't want you around here. They don't want you around these parts, all right? You need to remember that. Don't they want to see how we fare in the fight against them before they, they start pop-shotting They're going to they try and backs, size you up. They might try and get a cheeky shot want to turn around and blast them with the power of a thousand suns. That could happen. Yeah, you want down to do to that. Thousand. Roll initiative. Yeah, kind of roll Again. We're all rolling initiative. Roll around a thousand to, to a trillion. It really could be any number Ugh. of suns. Any number of suns. Oh, God. Oh, oh great. Uh, Achtung. You both got good rolls there. That's uh, 18. Plus whatever. Plus your initiative? Achtung, Spanzig? Nine. <laughs> no, that's 28. What's 18? Um, Ach Ach Zane. Zane. That's mm -hmm. the one. Anyway, this isn't for the Germans. BB 23. Titus, do you have any initiative to add to that? Oh. The 20? Yes, I have 20, exactly. Sword? Five. Un unnatural 20. <laughs> Useless fuck. Um, <laughs> That's me. Oh, wow. One of them rolled a zero somehow. Oh, it's because... Minus one? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. These are Very these, slow. These are slow, useless is zombies. the locks are done? Or is it the husky zombies? These are the zombies you're fighting right now. The locks on is still face down in the dirt. Nice. The peeper, your go. Mm. Peepers. Right, just to refresh what you see. As you turn to the you know, tree line from which you've emerged. Oh, huh? what's going on? You're not going to draw a little crude map? I can draw a crude map. I want a crude map. Crude map time. We need a crude map. We've had one before. There's a page. No, no. He's got yes, the back yes. of another one. He's found yeah, I do, scraps I do. elsewhere. I like scraps. I mean, Trot can have a go at maybe drawing this a little bit better, but this gives drawing. you the You've just positions. done a series of squiggles and <laughs> drawn by a madman. Okay, okay, so the trees. This has confused me more. Trees are where you've come from, okay? Four zombies. You stepped out. Those are zombies. One, two, three, four. Zombies. Are we on the beach? Nope. Oh. You're in. So, have you ever been to somewhere where there are like trees that uh, then break woods. and then become sand? Your beach. Yeah. Yeah. Have you beach. seen that? I mean, you have them on the east coast. It's like a boggy well. bit, isn't it? Like you know, where you get like pines that then break into coastal beaches and areas like that. Yeah. You're in the essentially in the pines before the beach. So you're in the wooded or the place before the pines. Uh, yeah. The pines beyond the, the trees. Pines, beyond the pines. Pines beyond. Place trees beyond, beyond the pines. The pines. Oh. The place beyond the pines. Yes. Long film. Long film. Quite kind good. of confusing. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't seem to have a purpose. Doesn't. Anyway, to no. the back. Anyway, this is where you are. There are zombies coming out of the tree Tusk. line. You're there. Beyond that, you see little bits of tufts of crap. I attempted to start drawing trees, then gave up. The, P, the four P's represent pirates. Okay. There's four P's. Oh, there's one just under there. They are watching you. They are not in this fight. I mean, you could shoot at them if you wanted so, so to. So we are, are sandwiched between four zombies and four pirates. Pirates are standing back, not really initiating anything. Mm -hmm. They're fighting zombies. Gotcha. Right. Okay. Let's see if there's some radius effects. Let's see what we can do, guys. Indeed. Yeah, we work together. Big. We can really crush this. Yeah. Oh. Start dumping yeah, big we can spells. really start killing these guys. All right. Mm. Uh, all, all I'd say is teamwork's crucial, right. and we should be thinking about one another and our positioning at all times. Okay. Very well. Roll high. <laughs> Roll high, gentlemen. Roll high, okay. gentlemen. <laughs> Roll high. But as we attack, we probably really should take it in turns. We, sh we won't have any other, other choices. <laughs> <laughs> there will be no Can other agree? options. You're all just saying what you do within the same six seconds of time, I believe. That's pretty that is much. one turn. Right. Is that correct? They're slightly staggered. It's very so slightly staggered. These things staggered. do happen one after the other. They are sequential. But they're mostly overlapping. Right. It all just kicks off. Let's do a this. round is six seconds. Let's do An this initiative is in... essentially how quickly you think. Well, let's do this battle in real time. Okay, people, <laughs> your go. Jesus ah. Christ. <laughs> the zombie moves out the way. What do you do now? It's too long. Too it's long. You. Not your go We're anymore. Oh, damage. God. <laughs> Am I first? Yeah, you're first. Right. Okay. Uh, are they quite close? They within like twenty feet of each other? Yeah. Right. Ten stinking clouds. Five feet of each other. Stinking ass cloud! I cast Stinking Cloud. Mm -hmm. A 20 foot radius sphere of yellow nauseating gas centered on the point within range. Uh, you have to make. Which one are you going for? A group of them? The, All center, of them. the center of that. And he says they're so within 20 get... feet of each other, so it would get them. You think you'll get a, a gas cloud that hits all four zombies? Okay. Question? What kind of damage is Stinking Cloud? You must take Constitution for so On a failed save, the creature spends its action that turn retching and reeling. That's what they do. Nice. So Creatures that are a specific yeah. spell type. It's just a nauseating gas. It basically just takes up their, their attempt to attack back, I guess. Aha. You missed out the bit that said, Creatures that don't need to breathe or are immune to poison automatically succeed on a saving throw. 
Uh oh. Uh -oh. So they're you not really zombies. They're dead. They're zombies, son. They are not but breathing. you use it, so you cast Stinking Cloud. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, this happened last time with the sleep thing. Yeah, you need to think. Yeah. think more. You think further. Understand than your what spell they are. sheet. We asked a lot of questions as well, and that wasn't Not one of them. Did they breathe air? Come on, buddy. <laughs> Don't let me do another DM song. Uh, oh, like we it do. may seem simple on the surface. Oh, no. oh, he's singing a... It may seem like we're making it all up, but apart from the theatre of the mind, there is some rules you've got to read up. Nice. Oh, there's a lot of reading every time we want to do something. Right, okay. I was first um, here, I didn't get a chance to think about my go. So, stinking cloud of a brain. Yeah, right. Just Kapipi, do it, yeah. what do you. So, so you, you chuck this noxious cloud. No, it it's hits normally tree line. It's Terence, normally. I pull the tail and then push on his tum tum. <laughs> yeah. You pushed on Terence's so. tum tum. The gas. <laughs> the gas emits out, some, and the wind catches it perfectly, so it drifts over the zombies. <clears throat> you hear them sort of go like. Who's farted? Is what like you hear? He did. They can speak. Yeah. To speak, you yeah. must be able to breathe Hungry. to fill your lungs to make the voice box vibrate. Right. Hungry. So it must be sound breathing. logic, but I don't think that's the case. Oh, what? They can just make stuff up mm. as well. It feels like it, doesn't it? Mm. Yum, yum. That smells nice. Who's cooking? What's your HP, sir? <laughs> <laughs> you can't ask that. I can't start an enemy You don't have to answer it. Excuse me, sir, how many hits would it take to put you down to zero? Uh, I just want to know <laughs> if you're going to waste some, some time. Thinking cloud, which you now seem to have no effect. All right, Mantle of Inspiration to give uh, everyone eight temporary hit, hit points. Ooh. Is that a bonus action, is it? As a bonus action, spend one use of Bardic Inspiration to grant eight temporary hit points to up to four creatures you can see. Uh, within 60 feet. So including yourself? Including myself. Us Boom, three. you'll get plus eight hit points. Very good. That's nice, isn't it? Is That's that correct? Ten you eight. did do right. Yeah, Perfect. correct. Thank you. So you have those extra. Once those go away, they don't come back. Okay. Boom. Ty, it's your go. How far can I move before I can use a spell? 30 feet. I would like to move almost in line with them. Yep. Good idea. I'm going to move Parallel. almost in line with them. Parallel. Parallel to them. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> I'm doing it. How many HPs do they have? Ah, well, I don't know yet, but I'm going to find out soon. See if you can count one. Then we're going to cast a lightning bolt with the, the power of a thousand suns and a million gods. A million gods, but only a thousand. And suns. I'm going to line them up because I've got a hundred foot range yep. of this bad boy, a five foot width. And they turn to look at you, all four of them. Oh. All right, I'm about to cast a level four spell. Okay. Which will be a lightning bolt, which will right. come out of my hands. Yeah. I'll fire it towards you. You will get the brunt of it, sir. The one behind you will get a little bit more. The other one before, after that, will get a little bit. And the one at the back, three at the least. Is that how it works? I, I don't know. No, 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 they might all get the same. Even damage to it's all gonna be 9d6. in that line. 9d6. Wow. Right, That's a lot. okay. And what I'm going to do is this The power is within me! <laughs> And then he spunk a huge. Oh, what does the lightning bolt look like? Oh, <laughs> bloody hell. <laughs> 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 oh, that's disgusting, but very powerful. Right, roll your damage. Tap this button. D 10d6 or 8d6? 9d6. So I'm using level 4. I could have gone lower, yeah. but there's four of them. Let's see what it is. The magic number is 32. Uh, 9d6. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, so one of them in front of you just gets roasted into oblivion. Boom. You instantly vaporize one of them, the one at the front. Looks at you just like, uh. Bad day. And a searing bright light of lightning, absolutely a huge flash, cooks Ooh. the surfaces around the area Ooh. as well. So, you know, the steam, the ground is steaming, the trees and plants around you are all steaming, singed leaves, things like that and what is just a pile of ashes as the first zombie is obliterated. The zombie behind that is almost obliterated. Absolutely the edge of their life as they, bits of them fall off, their arms have fallen off, you know, half of their jaws gone, most of the mushrooms are burning, but somehow one of these zombies is just holding itself together. The ones behind that, the two others, each take 32 damage and it does some damage, but they seem to be stronger. They seem to be older, more covered in mushrooms, and oh, the structure of those mushrooms are keeping them together. But they now seem to see you, and they see you as a huge threat. The pirates mm. watching from beyond in the trees. Mm. I mean, they know you aren't bluffing now. They see what you can do, and that's intimidate them. It smells like mushroom soup. 
I'm hungry. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, next, the largest of the four zombies Sword gets it. turns to you. He is, um, so the two remaining, so if you get that piece of paper there, put strikes through the first two from the left. Yeah, With my apple pencil. Oh. <laughs> they don't give you a lead in that pencil. Don't worry, we'll have a map soon. This one's been yep. obliterated. And then oh, the next that. one this on one's that got, Is this dead or wounded? Uh, very, very, very hurt. So that one you can just like, I don't know. Just then, <laughs> like, those are fine. Kind of okay. <laughs> still okay. I'm okay, still... right. So, a big boy. One of the big boys of the two circled Zeds. They push past that one that's really hurt. And they come for you, Ross. They fucking come for you, mate. Come you at me, bro. Silly bitch. They come for you, Titus. Sorry, I should say. Come at me, little bastards. Oh, one of them does an empowered slam. They hit 19. Oh, Jesus. I guess, that, I guess that hits, yeah. Ow, you hurt me. They do 12 damage. Oh, not 19 damage. No, no, no. They, they, they roll a 19. <sighs> Oh. They hit you for another 13 damage as their second hand comes round. The first hand strikes you hard, slaps you to the ground. You stand back up. You say, ow, you hurt me. It was the first 12, yeah? Yeah, first one was 12. Next one is? The second one is 13 as its second gnarled mushroom arm comes round. But some, at the ow. end of it, is like a thick club, ah. a really meaty mushroom as he stamps you in the face ah, with his you, left fist. A mushroom stamping! Ah. No! Boom! Don't stamp me, you monster! You're taking off my health! sounds and it makes left. contact with your face and then closes God. with you attempting to bite. Sword, you'll go. Kill them! I'm going to unleash a flaming sphere. You've seen that Titus has manoeuvred himself into a quite a close position. So you're right. I'm going to unleash a flaming sphere. Yep. No, I'm going to do a No, no, do a flaming sphere. That's fine. I'm just saying, I'm just trying to describe, you know, Take you, you saw Titus away from move me. up. He's in line. He incinerated one of them, attacked another, but then the big heavy one has attacked Titus. But they've all grouped up near the half healthy one. Where have they grouped up to? Shall so we... they're all coming towards you. So let's, you moved up to be in parallel with them. So cross out your name okay. and put a big T. Which one got killed? The one at the top or the bottom? Um, so if you're looking at them like this, the one right in the front got incinerated. Have they grouped up with the wounded one? The wounded one is now second in, the, in between them, so the, the beefier one stepped past them to attack you. They've grouped up here, you've got... Oh, yeah. So you've got T here. Mm -hmm. You put a little heart on your name, I see. That's a heart around my name, so you know it's the good one. <laughs> and then you've got this zombie who's moved ahead of this yep. broken one, and this mm -hmm. one's pretty much the second one they're sandwiching. Yep. That isn't good for audio listeners, but alas, the yourself, battle is podcasters. continuing, we're trying to explain it. I hope you enjoyed a million ads at the start of this podcast. Losers. Um, sword, you'll go. Yeah, I'll be Pick casting because Flaming Sphere is only five foot uh, mm -hmm. and it appears in an occupied space of my choice. So I'm going to put it behind the big zombie. Yeah. The big boy. Which is also going to be covering the very hurt zombie. Excellent. So it might tickle the So regardless of the damage this does. Deck saving throw of the big boy. Of oh, the big boy does his deck saving throw. Okay. 15 to beat. Mm -hmm. He fails. Uh, excellent, so they'll be taking full damage, and I'll do that at third level, which will be 3d6. Mm -hmm. Which is seven points, which is awful. Less than half on all three dice. <laughs> excellent. So garbage. Uh, seven points of fire damage on both of them. Wow, as a, a heroic action, <laughs> one of the zombies, the very in injured one, this was the, the straw that broke the zombie's back, and it catches fire uh, like uh, like a, Boom. A, a sheet covered in fuel. It just <laughs> catches with the leg of him, and then he just goes up, and you hear a terrible screaming. <laughs> as it dies. The first it one is time, just yeah. a little bit perturbed. Oh. Oh. You're enraging him, oh. and I'm closest, please. Could be, could what do you else, um, I'm going to... I can actually use a bonus action on this turn to move that flaming sphere. Okay. So I'm going to try and slam it into the other zombie that's here as yep. well. Um, one further back. Yeah, so that would be a deck saving throw from them as well. And it's a uh, 15 or 16, did you say? 15. It fails. Nice. Take Re 7 damage? Or yeah, you I guess it again? would be the same, yeah. Just for fairness. Okay, nice job. It's yeah. now that zombies go. After being incinerated by you, it wanders out from the line and heads towards you, sword. Okay. It closes with you. Okay. Is this, this is a one? zombie plague spreader. Yeah. 
Oh, it has a viral aura. Any creature that starts its turn within 10 feet of the plague spreader must make a DC 12 constitution saving throw. On a failed save, the creature is poisoned and can't regain hit points until the end of its next turn. On a successful save, the creature is immune. Chris Trot, make a DC 12 constitution save. Kabipi, make a DC 12 constitution save. I've beaten it. You are fine. That's a natural one. No, it's a four. four. And what was this? Uh, constitution. Plus three, so that's... You're poisoned. Seven. You're the poisoned. stinkiness of Blah. this, the Blah. viral spores Blah. of this zombie Blah. spread towards you and engage, yeah, infest your nose. <laughs> you start vomiting <laughs> quite badly. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Lovely, that's really... That's you have, now have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Uh, yeah, that's really what makes you sick. Uh, um, it's going to use an ability <laughs> called Virulent Miasma. The Plague Spreader releases toxic Hot. gas in a 30-foot radius sphere sent on itself. Each creature in that area must make another DC-12 constitution saving throw, taking poison damage on a failed save Good or half Lord. as much as successful. Do All three of you need to make... Oh, nice. All three of you need to make a constitution saving throw DC-12. Yeah, I'm okay. 16. What was 14. This, what was this for? Constitution? Yep. Saving throw though, so it's like this box. Plus three. Titus, you succeed. You only take um, seven damage. You yep. take seven damage. Ouch, you hit me for seven. 13. You succeed, only take seven damage. I take seven. seven. Mm -hmm. Kapipa, you'll go. <laughs> so I can do stuff while I'm poisoned? Uh, yeah, you just have disadvantage. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, I'm gonna use, so there's only two of them left, so at a level three, I'm going to use Blindness and Deafness. Oh. Can I use that to disorientate them? Uh... <laughs> or do they not respond to it? Have I not read it fully? Mm. It just says a target, blind and deaf and a foe. Yeah. Why, what's your reservations about this one? They're pretty resistant to this kind of thing. But Blindness and Deafness you could do. Yeah, they can no longer see you. Yeah, and I'm going to do it at the level three, which means I can target two, two of them. Yep, do it. Okay, well, uh, so it's a constitution saving throw of 16. Fail! <laughs> fail! It's a fail. They use, they are pretty shit, these things. That was, they're zombies. They're right. both blinded. And deafened? And deafened. Oh, I thought you meant I fail. Yeah, of course. So I win. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. So what happens? It, it's a magical song again. You can't see me, you can't hear me, I am an enigma. Oh, I heard the most terrible song, but now I feel fine. Because no, I can't I heard it hear too. anymore. Or I soon. heard it too. Yeah, so as they're hearing the song, it gradually fades away, but they don't realise they're just getting more, more and more deaf. Until they try to hear something else. <laughs> exactly, so they're blind. Very they're odd deafened, representation. And that is at the DM's end. DM's covering his eyes and ears. I'm in the mindset now of yeah, one of those zombies. In the right, world they're fumbling the around. Then they have to do that save again at the end of their turn to see if it lasts, I think. Okay, do you want to do anything else? Uh, do can you? I do that uh, temporary hit points buff again? Yeah, you can do four of them. I can do four so of them under this. Yeah, well, hold on. Yeah, but they can't stack. They just replenish. So yeah, yeah but you can do that. Considering eight. everyone's taking damage, then yeah, that makes sense. Mm. You can do oh, it. Oh right. Oh yeah, because we all took like yeah. So it just goes back to eight. It doesn't yep. plus eight. It goes back up to eight. Yep. Okay. So you get once again, you get temporary hit points of uh, eight. You all get eight, eight, eight temporary. <laughs> Everyone, you have eight temporary hit points. Thank you. Because I did the, the just imagine I sang again. What did you sing in oh. this imaginary? <laughs> just uh, have some points, have some hit points. Have some hit feel points now. a lot better. Titus, you have eight hit points extra. Oh, nice. That's the temporary hit points. Just back up to eight temp. It's also Titus, you'll go next. Lovely. Or well, now, rather. Who's still alive? So these guys are still, they've been blinded and deafened. Quick, while they can't see or hear us, get them! Yes, no, I will. Don't you worry. Um, I'm going to fire an acid arrow at the nearest one. I want to hit it with acid! And I'm is, going to! Using my powers! Is acid poison damage? It's not, is it? Uh, acid is acid damage. Acid is acid damage. Acid damage. Yep, that's um, fine. Would you believe? I know. Unbelievable. Just say at higher levels when you cast a spell using a spell slot of... Oh, right, different You level. can do more damage, basically. I don't think I need to use too much. I'm going to use second level. Yeah. Which is 4d4 four four plus 8. You want to your whole load. So I'm going to aim towards it. Okay. Is that 13? Is that plus 8? 19 that, there. Ooh, oh, wait. Plus 21. 8. Yeah, 21. Definitely hits. 21 to hit with my acid arrow. Which one are you attacking? I'm attacking the one nearest to me, which is attacking currently, sword. 
Uh, this one. You there, take a splash of acid, you foul beast of the forest. Huh? It, it can't hear or see you. How? Uh, I'm still going to say it. <laughs> I don't think that for changes effect. anything. Like, it's, for us. Us. it's for the pirates watching as well. They're like, this guy is dramatic, yeah. but he backs it up with well, that's it. Pa power. Um, then I do you again. Feel my wrath of acid splashing and pushing its way through your insides, you spectacular beast. How much damage does it do? It will do. Let's roll the dice. It's going to do 14 damage to you! Very I good. hope you like acid inside of you! We're splashing oh. off the zombie. Ah. Oh, looks like it hurts! Looks like it hurts you! It's hurting it somewhat. It can't hear or see. Yeah, it well, just doesn't understand what's happening, but it's getting munched. Yeah. And it's really sad about it. And That's it's a like, big damage, it's 14. You're still all standing. The great zombie turns and swipes at you. Titus, it I'm feels where that damage came from and blindly swipes at you with disadvantage. I'm gonna... Am I within range? It fails! It comes yeah, it can just wander over okay. to you. It fails to hit you, misses. <laughs> it takes you another swing. You can't see me. It fails again! Missed. <laughs> Sword, you'll go. <laughs> can you laugh again? Ha ha ha! Excellent. Um, I've got my flaming sphere about... It did its um, roll to try and break through that charm and it's still charmed. The, the, the deafening and uh, blinding is still in place. Excellent. I'm going to pass my flaming sphere at the already acid burning um, creature yep. with my bonus attack. And then if it ends its go on it, of course it will take more damage. So that's uh, 3d6 again, which I will roll. Um, I'll just do it for real. What? Oh, that's still less than half each. Two, two of one. <laughs> five. Five points Learn of fire roll. damage. Learn to roll, man. Artificers suck. Level nine You're artificer. terrible at rolling. Sucks. God damn it. You should practice rolling at home. Um, <laughs> I should Maybe do some rolling in your own time so that when we come to do these sessions, you're ready. <laughs> you're ready. Warm up your rolls, dude. <laughs> so I'm going to move down towards Kapipi. So I've moved across. Yo, all so right. Did. All He's right. moved out the way. The sphere is really <laughs> underwhelming. <laughs> wow. I thought it would be a lot better. I didn't do very much can you, damage. Can you deal with this one? Oh, no. Okay, you move down to the, the plague spreader, do you? Right, okay, that's the zombie that's right next to Kapipi. It's going to continue to try and attack What are the Kapipi. pirates doing? Uh, pirates are watching. They're just hiding and watching. They're like, they're waiting to see whether you get killed Perfect. by these zombies, basically. They're also, you know, burying stuff, moving stuff around. Well, they've they seen this before. They're, 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 they're going to kill Steel. They're carrying on. Tell. They want to kill no, Steel. No, they can't they get can't stuff. If it's in a hole, we've got it. Okay, this, this is the zombie wizard with the, gonna try and the hit yellow you. raincoat. Down there. Um, yes. What's seven to hit? There's yellow raincoat on. That's the first mate. And then you've got Bootstrap Bill. With his shorts and straps, mm -hmm. and then you've got the pirate. Twelve. Mm. Does that hit either of you? Twelve? Twelve. <laughs> Laughable. <laughs> no. You could never hit me with a twelve. Okay, and then he needs to roll a, um, a sixteen, right? To... And it's still deaf and blind. Uh -huh. I would like a short rest. You can't, that's an hour! Shit! Kapipi, you'll go. Okay. It's a whole hour. Uh, you could so start I'm one. guessing now, now that I've blind and deafened them, I shot myself in the foot with things like Dissonant Whisper and stuff like that because they can't hear me. Is that true? That's true. Okay. Well surmised, you're learning. Finally. Synaptic Static yep. <laughs> is uh, uh, a psychic energy to explode. Mm. Each creature within the radius of this sphere of 20 feet Whoa. must take an intelligent saving throw. A creature with an intelligence score of 2 or lower can't be affected by this spell but the target takes 8d6 of psychic damage on a failed save or half as much on a successful one. Oh, so you still take damage even on a successful one. How does psychic just damage uh, a zombie? Well, in this case it does. Okay. Um, it only That's just, right. they've got intelligence of 3. Nice. Uh, so you're lucky. There's enough brain uh, Bear in mind, there. the, there's enough, yeah, there's enough sentience there to... I guess it stumbles around in an instinctive way, right? Yeah. Just damaging that part. Also, any creature within 20, so you need to make sure that the if you're doing yeah, it... Yeah, as I say, is it near us? Near enough to us. You yeah, to but if that. I... They're in front of me, right? Yeah. So if I... Say they're, what, five foot What's in front of me? What's the shape of the spell? Any Within a 20 foot radius? Radius of where I can't... Well, yeah, 20 you. foot. Like oh, is it of me? Yeah. Or, or no, 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 no. It's something Tw I can, like, cast the in a point. place, right? So you What's the like... range of the spell? 
20 feet. 20 feet would be like this, so you'd make a circle exactly. right I'd, there. Exactly, I'd put, say they're five feet away, I'd make the spell go from like 15 like feet away. Let me check the description of it. It'll take up this. It's going to be very precise and specific and make sure he doesn't hit any of us. Is anyone Only got tape? the enemy. Anyone Only. got tape measure? Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, let's do. get the tape yeah, measure out of the go. battlefield. I see you've played Warhammer Tabletop before. Okay, it's got a range of 120 feet, Bard. Um, and it, yeah, within, could, it creates just, a 20 foot sphere yeah, you where you it. cast it. The range is 120 feet. Yeah. The size of the spell is 20 foot. Yeah. I thought that's what you were asking. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you're saying. You could put it far I'm gonna, away. I'm going to put it and just, just say that. Yeah, but you feet. didn't tell me what range it was. You just said, I can put it over there. And I was like, I need to check this. Oh, oh. I see what you mean. Sorry. You yeah. choose a point within range and cause psychic energy to explode there. Each creature in a 20 foot radius sphere centered on that point must make an intelligence saving throw. A creature within. So you're going to put it so it catches it on the edge of the 20 foot radius. Yeah, and possibly right if I can put it in between the two so it can't. You know, a clip the top yep. one as well slightly. Yep, you can do that. They'll both be affected by the spell. Nobody else. But will. just missed tight. There you go. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's how I. Oh, you it. just missed me. Uh, be careful. There you go. Uh, so <laughs> first of all, I guess is do they do they say do they do it? Or they have to save. They have to do a save. What's the save? Uh, wasn't it sixteen of intelligence? Intelligence. Fail. Fail. They both fail. Okay. Damage time. So now this is. This step won't automatically Learn to roll. roll. Or not. Hmm? I cast Learn spell. to roll. Sorry, I need to go home. You need to go did home. Did you use your spell slot for answers? I did, yeah. It's uh, this one. Take it to the so limit. I just do 8d6. Yes. 32 damage to them. Wow. wow. Okay. That's good. Pop, pop. Bursting in front of me. Ah. Both their heads explode. They drop to their knees and die. You've won. Ah, for now. You could thank Kapipi for that one. What the hell Thanks, happened? Thanks, Kapipi! What do you imagine it looks like, them exploding? How, how do you finish them? Oh, yeah. How does it look? Well, I'm not very wizardy, am I? Well, I imagine I, their mushroom heads would start to expand really fast. Is it like the brown note, but like really high? Yeah. There, there you go. Yeah, well, so they they just start to oh, really bad. And they just bass note. <laughs> so, although they can't hear it, they can feel it. Yeah, and their yeah. insides just start to bubble and like vibrate until it can't contain it anymore. <laughs> and then it escapes through <laughs> every orifice until the pressure is just so big that. Nice. And it's just a real sudden. Just and we just just hit by like oh, just a bit. Like, the, just the sloshy of wetness of these exploding zombies mm. splashes onto all of you. Wow. Um, <laughs> and the, and some of the the pirates to just get up and they just. You're next. Yes. <laughs> what? No, calm yeah. down, Titus. Titus, You know calm what we down. can do. Titus. Listen, what? I said, you know what we can do. We do know what you can do. We're very impressed. Yeah. Good. Nice. Well, now, how about... It made short work of them zombies, says the, ca the pirate captain. Ah, oh, you made short work of those what zombies. What do you think of the flaming sphere, though? I'm spinning it around. The flaming here. sphere seems less effective. Fuck but off. I'm what sure it would be bolt? very impressive. Thank Thanks. You. And I the bit where the, the bard made them just pop. Nice. Ain't scary. Really that scary. The level of power. Oh, the just... fiery thing, that looks nice. That's a nice party trick. Maybe kids yeah. would like the fiery orb. Smelled nice. Would you like it in your face? No, yeah, I, I reckon I could survive it, yeah. <laughs> oh. Do you think so? You think your, your puby beard wouldn't get whisked up by How the flames? You? <laughs> what? How dare you? Fight me, I have power! But only so much. Of course. And then it runs out. Now, it we've can. dealt with the third party threat. How about we just go our separate ways? Not! before I explain what we're doing here. Well, tell us what yeah, we're doing yeah. here. Tell us, we'll just head on. No, no. <laughs> no, no, don't waste your time. It's an like concept and I wish to share it. But we, we don't, don't, like yeah, yeah, don't really want to get involved. We don't no, need to know. Please, take a seat. Ignorance so is bliss. <laughs> oh, get a <in> seat. <laughs> what have you got to say to well, us? I wouldn't Why want to sit down after that battle. I've got these little wooden like, stools which like sink awkwardly into the soft, loamy ground as well. So like, you're, you're an angle. <laughs> All right, we'll sit down I'll there. I'll tell you why there be caches of incredible wares stashed upon this island. Good. Before ye came to this island, you would have heard tales of how it floats and moves upon a warm current. Yeah, we thought it was because it's like light mushroom. Just loads of mushrooms smelled together. Oh, that does seem to have some... Merit? Merit. Is the name of my parrot, funnily enough. Hello, oh. Merit. Hello, Merit. What? What's the name Merit. of his pirate? <laughs> What's the name of your pirate, Merrick? <laughs> Crackers. Crackers. Oh, that's Crackers the pirate. Captain Crackers. Well, anyway, he puts it back on his shoulder. <laughs> As you were. This island, on this grand current, moves through many taxable domains. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. Wow. When a man, or a team, or a crew sails through various zones, 
whether it be imperial control, that of the magistrates of Gold Tooth, or perhaps even that of the Dwarven Kingdoms. Well, you each have to pay a tithe. Imperial inspectors, Dwarven inspectors, they climb upon my boat and they go through our wares and they say, Ooh, that's a nice bit of wear you got there. Ooh, the tax on that is. And then they check their tabulations and they go the price of silk. Well, there's a levy, a tariff to pay upon that, if you will. 20% sometimes even more than 20%. Mental! Bonkers. <laughs> so, old Captain Panama here, he worked out a clever scheme, didn't that's he? That's why he's called Captain Panama. Uh, to go. avoid the tax. What's that? Right. <laughs> Hey, you said pirates even acknowledge tax. It's really, really, really yes. bad. We're slipping a little bit into the loan, but yeah. yeah, sure, go on. Carry on. To dodge this tax, Captain Panama and his crew Who would dare to upon their ship, the Jolly Dodger. <laughs> they sail to this here magical island. They offload all of their valuable wares that they buy in one tax province, stash them all here, then wait. For the island to drift naturally. It's a tax haven, if you will. It's a tax haven of an <laughs> island. I get it. The island drifts over wow. the taxable boundary. The ship catches up, docks once again, puts the valuables back onto the Jolly Dodger, and we make port with no tariffs paid. Wow. Genius! Genius! <laughs> Amazing. But, of course, this scheme cannot go any further than this, so unfortunately I'm going to have to kill you. Well, you've seen what we can do. Or... Lightning! Sorry, go on. <laughs> or... And then Bootstrap Bill passes him an or. No, 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 no. <laughs> Bootstrap Bill, that's hilarious, but... Where'd you get that or from? We're on land. you got to give or... him merit. No! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not giving him pirate. anything. <laughs> You're crankers. No, that's his pirate. <laughs> that's his pirate. So anyway, we've been operating this little scheme for many years now. Yeah. We pay the Tritons a little bit. We uh, sometimes bring them like fancy caskets to bury their dead in. But they've been complaining recently and they've been saying, oh, all the stuff you're burying is, is messing up the natural balance of the, of, the, of, the, of the island. And that's what's creating all these, you know, more dangerous dead mushroom fish mm. men, you know? Don't say that around here. Yeah. What, fish men? I'm actually yeah. kind of one of them, actually. But you're not a zombie. Pure beard. Pure beard. Fish man. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Fish man. What? <laughs> Fish man. I know. You live on the bottom of the sea. I've got a portable tax haven. Go suck yourself. Have you? Yeah, I have actually. What's that? This hole. Look at oh. that. Oh. I put, I put things in there. Oh, so you put them I there. Hide it. I'm surprised you even oh, are uh, even there? concerned about I tax laws in this world. I'm surprised you're concerned I'm about the tax laws. And loads of jewels in there. It's <laughs> amazing you're even abiding by pick anything. Pick it up. I'm oh, going to well, pick you're it up. You're a pirate. What kind of pirate are you? I'm not magical. I can't avoid imperial infections, can I? I the the tariffs, the customs officials, they're very thorough. While they're having this... Okay, good. What? Well, <laughs> just <laughs> picking it up so he doesn't notice <laughs> that we've put a cache and loads of jewels in there. Oh, I picked it up. I picked up the hole. <laughs> I so, can see his beady <laughs> eyes looking at it. Do you say... Look away from my hole! I can't. Go on. So you store to snap his eyes away. So you were saying you storing stuff here um, oh. is causing uproar or something. It's causing the island to become apparently become uh, imbalanced, too heavy. So you're saying the actions of a few for their own benefit is greatly affecting others Indeed. in a negative way. It is a many-layered metaphor of right. tax evasion and environmental invasions through those profiting mm. from environmental factors. Okay, thank it's you. I know. It's genius. It's bloody clever. It's clever, this. <laughs> wow. Oh. Captain Panama. <laughs> you son of a bitch, you've done it again. Captain Panama. Um, yes, but... I don't want to stop doing what I'm doing because it's so lucrative. Yeah, What's it going to cost for me to pay you off? Do these chests. I mean, we were happy to just go before you told us about all this. Oh, <laughs> you gave really a had hard to bargain, Toro. <laughs> <laughs> a hard bargain. But if you insist. I want to look through some of these chests. No, don't do that. But I want to. They're my wares. Can I have a look? I'm going to have a look. Don't. If you say no, <laughs> There's I'm going been to look. I, I'm sure there has been leaks. Don't leak this. I'm going to look at in the chests. There's jewels and very many, many valuable I know, things. I know there are. And Tell you what, you can all choose one chest each and we'll never talk about we this again. Get, oh, I don't think right. so Two right. chests then, you pull my arm. The railroad's coming through here. I'm about to be not waking up. I was gonna Six offer chests, that's crazy. quite a lot of chests. I was gonna offer the, uh, actually never mind. We, uh, we had a little... We will have a look at the chests. 
Is this a deal or no deal situation where we're stuck with our chest if we look inside? Oh, uh, you or... cannot. You must pick a chest. Oh, okay. Steal. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, no, hang on. We don't did steal that. it. We did that. We did that. You must pick a chest. Okay. And then I will crack that chest open for you. Oh, okay. And then we can barter with you perhaps for its value and then you decide. No, you get to keep it. Oh, okay, cool. All I ask is your solemn word and. And a snap. He's doing that. He wants it? that all. <laughs> Contract! Oh. Contract! And they're just like, oh, take, oh, take the contract. Panama's man. papers. Yeah. Ah. I don't oh. want to be on this. Your signature <laughs> that says you have done this deal, that you are happy with this deal, and that you will not break your oath. Are you sure? I will be to signing... keep this island quiet. Are, are you sure you contract? want a paper trail of this? This is not pirate behavior. Oh. It's contracts? You're absurd. We're a different kind of pirate. Not all pirates are ruffians and thieves and scoundrels. Well, contract keepers? Crime comes in many forms. These are high crimes indeed. They certainly are contracts. I don't want to put my name on pages. Well, how about we sign... Well, it comes back to me. We'll sign, sign a Luke. shell then. How about that? Yeah, everything yeah. else gets signed Scribble on Scribble on the shell, a blood oath yeah. on the shell. I really try trust shell. Do you like blood oaths? I yeah, love a good blood oath. I'm me. always doing blood oaths. Blood oaths or pen? I love them. My hands yeah. are cut yeah. from scars from blood oaths. Blood oath, blood oath. I've already Fight. cut. I'm you using the morning scroll back up. <laughs> into wow. my hand. Jeez! Wow! That's the wrong hand! That was very deep sword. That's not... You're not right-handed. You're a lefty. He's a lefty. Okay, we, so, so he, he, he quickly etches in to the back of Kapipi's skull. Uh, skull? No, 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 Ah, I can feel that bit! <laughs> into, the, into the back <laughs> of your shell. Um, uh, he's going to keep it vague. The Panama Agreement. Just says that. That's all really? it says. It's still and quite then, long words. Um, yeah. you, you, you know what this means. The PA. I give you my word and I will leave you unmolested if you give me your word that once leaving here with a treasure chest of your choosing and only one choice is to be made per person. Two chests per person? Do not! You did agree to Go backwards to... on your contract, you bastard! Look, Two chests it is. It's written on the shell. Panama Agreement. You did. You didn't left it so Two vague. chests mm. per person Thank and you. you will not speak of this again. And if anyone asks you... And remember, OC, you did tell the Triton when you originally got here that you would find out what's causing these problems and try and solve it, right? And in return, they were going to upgrade your ship. Just remember that's a deal you've already assigned. Just of course, it goes without saying. Right, goes without saying. We're good people. You will never tell anyone about what's going on here. No. I couldn't have we tried? Memory like a fish. Because <laughs> I'm a fish man. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I don't get it. No, but I'll never forget. He forget strokes what? his puby exactly. beard. Tell them about what anyway? Very good. Now, choose your chest. I want that gold-plated ornate one that's the size of a thousand kings. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I've seen like a, a stage play before where at the end they've given an, an option of loads and loads of different goblets. Oh, yes. And there's one that like looks really phenomenal and mundane, yeah. but it ends up killing him. Oh, so it's kind of like a metaphor of like... Mimix! That sounds like a... Uh, sounds like a good lesson to learn. However, you, Titus, you've oh, chosen... You, Titus has chosen... The One most. very large chest to start with. It looks like a tomb. It's, That's how big. It's, it's huge. It's got bronze and brass alloyed um, chest, uh, so that it's metal. Uh, I thought all, it was gilded. All the ribbons, are, like all the uh, the metal elements of the chest, as you can imagine, some elements of wood, some elements of metal. Very shiny, very large, very heavy. One of the two of the crew help you drag it out from a pile underneath a piece of canvas, drag it along the floor together. Don't open them yet. Your second choice. Oh. um... So there are lots of different things. They're not all chests. Some of them are sacks. Some of them are buried under soil. Some of them are simply hid under canvas. Um, you have, let's say you have small, medium and large chests, small, medium and large bags, small, medium and large. Uh, what's another storage thing that isn't a chest and isn't a bag? Any suggestions? Well, I mean, chest or bags. Barrel. A, a barrel. barrel. A barrel. That's the other thing I okay, said earlier. Nice. There are choices of barrels as well. What's the second thing you want to choose? Um, that almost completely covered barrels down there. Barrels, you dig it's it up. It's deep. And you roll it. Roll it, oh. <laughs> Roll it across the loamy soil. Yes. It's rolling so rolling. hurriedly. <laughs> like you're working in like a brewery. Like a dung beetle. <laughs> like a dung beetle with I'm shit. I'm on my, you I'm pushing with my legs. You push this it. is a sight to see. He gets on his hands and pushes it back <laughs> on his legs. I've seen this dung somewhere. Dung? Dung somewhere. You've seen this dung somewhere. Tie a sword, you'll go. I'll take that glass chest that I can see right through. Oh, wow. Okay. I'll see. <laughs> what do you see through the glass? What do I see through the glass? Jewels, gold, goblets, gems. I'll take that mystery chest right there. 
Well, the one with the glass one. Yeah. That I can see through, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's got the jewels, the gems, yeah. the glass. Okay, yeah, cool, no problem, you pick it up. Um, it's reasonably <laughs> heavy, it's medium sized, but you can carry it off the ground. Double glaze. Double glaze, yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah, it's, um, hmm. I feel like closing and opening a chest that's like tempered glass would actually be quite dangerous. You know, like, mm. like the seal is really thin. Like it's, it's waterproof because of like how well the glass Seals. goes together. Yeah. Um, your second choice? My second choice Barrels, is going to be- Barrels, bags, chests. A hessian sack that looks like it's been lazily just bur barely okay. buried. Yep. You that grab one. the top of a hessian sack, hessian sack, and as you try to tug it, it feels heavy. God, and there's what a is clink. This? I think it's rooted. And you look inside, and there are gold bars. <laughs> gold oh no! Bars. Picked a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> he laughs as he jogs back to their little spot. I'm joking! To BP, what do you choose? Oh, is all this Hold stuff. I need to write this shit down. Um, <laughs> yeah. Can I have my pen back? What pen? This one? Yes. Is all this stuff your stuff, or are there other people using this island? This is all us. This is all you. Okay. Yes. How do you control where the island goes? It's on a current that's predictable. Okay. So it's on a cyclical current. Oh, nice. Uh, I'll go for one of these uh, these big old barrels, because once I've had whatever's inside, that'll make a lovely drum on the ship at the back oh, there. Multi I thought you only drum your ancestors. Up till now. Uh, but oh, he's branching I, out. I've got the stage on the ship to fill. Yeah, like, these right. are my portable drums. What you, if roll, I get you, you roll one of the barrels out, and you get a second choice. Kapipi! Do I get to see what's inside choice. yet, or not? No. You're not allowed to not open yet. it. All right. Uh, well, I'll have uh, one of them bags over there. Okay, you out. pick up a sack. So sack. you have a sack and a barrel. Sack and a barrel. Very good. Place a sack so I was, it. I was uh, able to look in my Hessian sack. You feel you a clink. Sneakily you sneakily didn't in. look. Blink, you blink. think you felt gold bars. Gold. You saw a glint. You heard the telltale clink. So I told gold. you it was gold bars. But to decide the true value of what is in your sacks, there's one thing that will decide your fate. Oh, What's no. that? It's... It's a D20! <laughs> Stop putting them in your mouth. Mighty to call it out! Did you have a knife? Constitution check! That's the roll! Um, Heimlich! Titus, roll me two D20s. Two of them? Oh, you got two right here. Oh, hang on, it's not in the right What was place. your first object of storage? One is 17 and one is three! Make of that what you will! A barrel and a <laughs> Barrel's filled with piss. <laughs> <laughs> My okay. barrel. Uh, sword, 3d20s. Uh, a 19 and a 1. Oh! <laughs> okay. What a swing. Come on, Kapipi. You've got to roll well on this one. Two natural 20s coming up. Roll well. Don't roll bad. Ooh, Ooh right in the middle. 13 and a 10. And a 10. Okay, right. Four. You've got coins in front of you there. Choose one coin and identify the head and the tails of that coin. Heads is this little mountain. Put it on the uh, the rolling tray. Heads is this mountain. Yep. Like a... Tails is just the lines, like the a star. star. Yeah, okay. All right, so... Yeah, Who'd Sword, you, you need to do one. Okay. So this is four. So, um, Sword, you rolled a one and a 19. Oh, yeah. For the glass chest to be the 19, it has to be that. Uh, the 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 uh, the mountain for the, the mountain. sack to be the nineteen. It's going to be the star. Yeah. Okay. The mountain. So the mountain is the nineteen. So that's good for you. For the glass. Yep. For the night. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Sorry, I really confused that. <laughs> <laughs> so I really confused that. Essentially, good news. Heads, it's the glass that's got the good roll. Yeah. Tails, it was the sack, sack that, that had got the, the good, good roll. roll. Exactly. Yeah. So your glass chest which you saw was full of gems and goblets and things like that. You crack open. It wasn't open. painted on on the inside. It wasn't <laughs> painted on. You open it and sure enough, it's a lot of wealth. Oh, that's wow. a... You never will guess what's in here. <laughs> At a cursory is glance, it, is you it think a drink? that I'm you thirsty. have no. in the thousands worth of gold and jewels in here. I'll never tell. <laughs> <laughs> Roughly, you, we'll need to do a proper accounting, but you look at it and you think, that is a, you know, a, a prince's ransom. I push it down, I feel You're like the, the cushion seal in and a vacuum seal. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> that is tight, that is watertight. That is tight, that is tight. Flip, you need to do a coin flip. So, um, the mountain symbol is your gold chest is the good roll, 
The star is the barrel of the good roll. Bing! Star! The oh, ho, ho. <laughs> That's, that can only be good, right? Okay. The barrel's the good roll. <laughs> um, it's just to finish off, sorry, I didn't say. Sword, what's in your sack? You open it up and... Here we go, everybody. Oh, it's just a lot of cutlery. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's oh, it's kind of that? not bad cutlery. This is chunky forks. <laughs> it's, it's, it's knives and forks, but the handles are just bizarrely thick. God, like, like, God, it's, it's slabs. It, you, you think, and, and, and just as this is happening, the elephant guy wakes up and he's like, and he sort of, you realize he's woken up and he's like looking up at you, with this trunk and his hands bound and his black eye. Why have you got my bag of forks? And you've just got his bag of elephants. Mine now. <laughs> we did a deal. Oh, all's fair in love and war, I suppose. Did a deal. He's got locks of on forks, bag full of them. You, on the other hand, have your golden chest and your barrel. Your golden chest, you crack open. Inside, oh, look. there was once very valuable scrolls. This was a bunch of dusty old papers rolled up. It's barely even that. Mites and bugs have got in, Ugh. and they've eaten up all of the scrolls. What value is this pirate pube here? The most valuable thing you have is the gold chest itself, Who buried which this? may be worth a few hundred gold. That's pretty good, though. They thought that it was. Oh, we thought that that was a good chest. You know, we've got all the best gold stuff on it. It looked yeah. really expensive. Don't but pay for you, idiot. Are these contracts for more money? They were magical spells. Oh, but they're all eaten by mites. They've been eaten by mites. Balls. Balls. Your, your barrel, however... Liquid gold? You crack, <laughs> you crack it open. What's inside? Is a barrel of extremely fine rum. Oh my goodness. So this is... The pirate captain explains. <clears throat> this is some of the best rum ever made. They don't make it anymore. <laughs> um, it's uh, worth probably in the region of a hundred gold a bottle. Wow. And this is a barrel. It's got a million bottles. In it. Vintage. I wouldn't say a million. That a feels... Thousand. Perhaps. Oh, that's we'll a have lot. to do the math. That's a lot of money. A bottle is seventy centiliters. I don't know what a barrel is. Right. But should we get measuring? We. Should, you want to get divvy in? I really no. No. Okay. If I spill any, that could be precious, <laughs> valuable mess. Don't drink. You want to taste a bit? Yeah, I'll have a little dip with my finger. Little, little. You put it in your mouth, and it is delicious. It's a dark no. rum. Oh, yes. Dark rum with a golden sweetness to it. You can oh, God, smell I'm a full. the. You can smell the ocean. You can taste oh, the sunshine. Yes. It's delicious. It's a gorgeous, dark, sugary, sweet rum. Spices can be detected on the palate. Cinnamon. Star anise. Nice. Closed. <laughs> All run through this golden Lovely. liquor. Wow. This alcoholic joy. Don't drink it. It's mine. Don't it's drink mine. it. It's mine. And we'll sell it for millions. Millions. Or just a lot of gold. It's going to be, yeah. be thousands. If you it's time to crack open your barrel and sack combo. Who ordered the barrel sack combo? That's this Number three on style. the menu? Is it number three? Barrel sack combo. You don't need to flip your coin. Both contents are good. Because of your rolls, they weren't too far apart. So instead, inside your sack, you find... You can flip the coin if you want. He wants to flip a coin. Okay, tower. This could... The sack is good. Star. Star. Right, the sack, the sack is good. The slightly marginally better... Roll, sure. Right. In your sack, you find earrings. Piles and piles of pirate earrings. There's loads of rings in here. Oh my goodness. What kind of Is rings there any are these? Rings? I don't know. I've not seen these they before. They could be. They're when? rings of different descriptions. They're jeweled rings to wear on fingers. Some other rings, larger rings that seem to be crusty, that can be used for other things. Hooped earrings, big hoops. Big hoops. These all come in useful. <laughs> <laughs> They're made of gold, you can look silver, so gorgeous. brass. They are they are valuable. They're metal. You could melt them down. But for whatever reason, uh, the pirates have clearly been, I don't know, pillaging bodies. I and they've so. just collect collected all this valuable gold. There's teeth in here as well. Wow. Um, the odd wooden eyeball. A genocide's worth of jewelry. <laughs> I think I got their bin bag. <laughs> a genocide's yeah. worth of jewelry is an excellent way to describe it. God. In the barrel, you right, crack, crack open the top of the barrel, <laughs> and inside, you find. What's that smell? 
Well, what's that smell? I can smell something. Can people, what's out. in there? This I'll is naphtha. This what? Sorry. Naphtha. Naphtha. Yeah. So it's naphtha a music service. It's a flammable <laughs> liquid. Um, it's a lot like oil, but it's more refined. So it's almost like petrol. So this is a highly flammable, highly sought after fuel and weapon. It's a well, flammable liquid in here called naphtha. Did you what, taste it? What is it encased in? Did you taste any of it? Is it drinkable? Mm, you don't want to taste it. In, in fact, I'm worried to bring it on the ship. But That's we important will. to but we worry could probably, about. As long as we store it correctly, we could probably use this. You see under the dirt on the barrel as you wipe it away, there are like hazardous warnings on it, just sort of explosive. It says so the label like says danger. Be yeah, careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't store in wooden barrels. Yeah, that's just for like, Don't take on wooden ships. Those are just warnings for kids. Don't worry about it. Uh, this We're is a, a, a sort of form of naphtha that's almost like hellfire. It sticks to things. It burns with an incredible intensity. This is extremely... It's napalm. Dangerous. It is napalm. Ultimately, it's napalm. Um, Do we want this on the ship? Well, it's very yeah. sought after as a weapon. You set yeah. one of these off, it'll probably sink a ship, for example. Um, this is a... Whoa. Very sought-after material, but dangerous. Probably fine. Probably fine. So I then, it. our deal is complete. You will talk no more of what we use this island for. You will take About your what? prizes. Very good, very good. And we will continue our dastardly business. All right. Enriching ourselves and those who sail with us. I mean, fair I enough. I bid you adieu. Yeah. And it we was nice say meeting goodbye. you. Bye, parrot. What was it called again? Mer so Merritt and Cracker. Oh, Merritt and Cracker. What was your name Captain again? Panama. Panama. My name is Captain Panama, and this is the crew of the Jolly Dodger. See you later. Continue Jolly your dodging ways. Can we have the stools back, please? Oh, yes. yes. Sorry, yes. <sighs> also, can you tell the wizard that it just doesn't work for him? The bright yellow thing? Yeah, yeah I know. He, he thinks he's come up with some sort of clever new garment or treatment for garments. Looks dumb as heck. Right anyway, we're going to continue dumping things on the island. Um, don't take anything else, yeah? Don't come back. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, oh, can no, I just no, no, recommend no, no. that maybe you just bury stuff a bit deeper? Oh, but we have to take it off again. It's bloody... N you know how hard it is to dig a six-foot trench? Yeah, but do you, know how easy it, hut? do you know how easy it is for someone to just sail up to this island? That's, that's, all, that's all we're saying. Like We've raised some issues. Well, of... usually all the walking dead seems to dissuade people. But you lot mm. don't seem faced. Yeah, well... What yeah. is that? Badass. Oh, we just we were curious. We literally didn't know this was happening. Right. Yeah, we just stumbled across this place. Yeah, we, like we could be anyone. In fact, we crashed our ship into it. You crashed your ship? Yeah, somewhat. Well, into some coral nearby. Oh. Yeah. We look sucked, gross. really. Any coconuts before we leave? We really want our pina coladas. No, coconuts don't grow on this island. All right. You Crossing got any in. on your ship? No. All right. The Jolly Dodger no. carries very little. No. It runs very lean. <laughs> we, don't, we don't want those goddamn customs officials charging us for anything. You know, when we go through, we even strip the paint off the wood, Whoa. just in case. Wow. Jesus. Chuck it overboard, boys, you know, get the paint off. We don't use sails, we use old plastic bags we find in the sea. That's plentiful. Which At least you're reusing it. Yeah, Fair enough. Yeah. Bag for life. You know, those are <laughs> good. Most clothes are particularly good. And you see in the distance, plastic. it's just a patchwork of bags. Mm. Okay, the sun has peaked in the sky whilst your battle has been going on and is now coming down again. The days pass so quickly here on this island. Do you make your way back? Is it time for you to leave? Start taking this loot back to, to the, the shoot. We can put ship. it all in is the there hole. any room in the hole? We can put some of it in the hole. I don't think we can get it all. Mainly the, the barrel. barrel. Let's is, just try it. Let's take the big stuff here. Right. There's enough Roll what you can in. Ten... Remember, there's a 10 foot drop. So let's lower some of it. Yeah, let's just lower Especially the napalm barrel, yeah. We need a hoisting rope. We do need a hoisting rope. Let's, Kevin, wait, I've have got you already a... got back? Hold on, wait one sec. You're no, I've got a piece of rope. I'm lowering it into the, into the hole. We're, we have we're a, we have storing a as much hole. as we can in the hole before we yeah, move yeah, out. Yeah, we're, we're going to place things in a hole gently. Treat our hole with the 10 to 11 care. We treat all of our own holes. Okay. Uh, I ravage mine. So, so well, before you get back case, to the ship, you come out, you, you walk back through the forest. Fairly uneventful. You avoid mushroom people as you, as you would do. Nice. You think you notice what, what might be an old uncle or something? They seem to. Uncle, is that you? Yeah. Oh, the mushroom's fucked with his head. What was her name? Plindorf. Plindorf. <laughs> Clin Un uncle Plindorf. Plindorf. It sounds like a real name, and then it. Carolyn <laughs> Dorf. Wildly Clindorf. changes. Clindorf. Uncle Clindorf. Uncle Clinny. He doesn't recognise you, and a piece of his face falls off as you're talking to Dear him. Dear God, what happened to you? He died. You remember now that he lived in three towns over from oh, you. Oh, I think he died when I... I think I went to his funeral. Did you? Yeah. yeah. And well, they said, well, they said they were sending him off somewhere. Right. You were really, drunk. Was that? You were like... really drunk at his funeral, though. I th he died yeah. in uh, Ankerfell, 
And oh, the, and the yes, he, he was did. killed by one of the anchors. So many. It was it on the face? Because like the mushroom looks like it's filled in a void. It could have done. Yeah. It was a closed casket, to be fair. Wow. And he was quite quickly, swiftly taken to clearly this island. But he doesn't remember me anymore. Fuck you, Klindorf! You oh, deserve to ruin hell! I shoot him with a musket. Terrible guy. <laughs> Terrible guy. I think he that deserved it. That's quite satisfying. <laughs> yeah, he deserved it. He was Bye, not a good Klindorf. person. Okay. Uh, you break through the trees out onto the beach. It's dusky now. Not but sure waiting is. for you is the original Triton that came out to meet you, uh, who was Lord Eretry. Oh, my friend, I thought you'd never return. Oh. I, heard shoot I heard shooting and banging, and uh, there seems to be disturbance in the presence of this place. Mm, the corrupt zombies came out at us. It was all them. Oh. We were fine. We were just kind of bypasses. Just the, zomb the corrupt zombies. Yes, we've heard of those. What, mm. what was causing it? Did you find out? We didn't find out. I'm didn't afraid. find out. We just kind of in and out. It's we found all this loot. Look at this. Help us with some of this. This is quite heavy. What is all this? Where did you find this? Oh, I just found it just next to a tree, didn't we? Yeah, someone yeah. must have been killed by some of the zombies. This is a veritable it. treasure trove. Do you know what we actually did? We came here months before and buried it. It's ours. It was always ours. Don't ask any questions. Let's just take it onto the ship and move on. Persuasion. <laughs> That's a five. Oh, no. It's a five. And that I sounds don't... like nonsense. No, no, it no. It is no. nonsense. You're right. No, no, no. We I did. Stole it. We stole it from the guy with a big beard and a parrot on his shoulder and we fought a giant mushroom zombie creatures. <laughs> what? We killed them. I used the power of a, a million gods and I it's electrocuted the them like this. Ah! It was really good fun. So it's over then. The zombies are all dead. No, there are probably some still around. In fact, we only call four. Would you be interested in staying to, to no. rid the... No, 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 no. It's quite nice. But the ancestral yeah. burial land. Your, your uncle was buried here. Oh, he's dead now. I shot him on the way He doesn't even recognise me. Klindorf? No, he shot him in the head. He's Who dead. shot Klindorf? He's dead again. He's dead already. He's already dead. He's more, it's more, it's very sacred. It's meant to be sacred. We wouldn't allow them to wander. Not if he becomes a zombie. Yeah. Well, it was he... He was a terrible person. He did horrible things. I won't say what they are. Klindorf? Klindorf. It was Peter. It was like, Klindorf, no! <laughs> was he a Peter? He oh, enjoyed really the people, leap in People there. often associate him with dangerous things. What they is said, it with islands? Keep away from Klindorf, they said. <laughs> don't accept sweets from Klindorf. I said, I don't like sweets. I do, though. That was a secret. Just to keep my mouth <laughs> Was it worth it? What, to not have sweets? No, I did have sweets. I snuck them from the other kids. I stole them from their lunchboxes. But they, are they gotten from Klindorf? I don't know where they got had them they from. Had they paid the Klindorf I hope cost? they hadn't. I didn't ask questions. Was it the island price? It was... I don't know what the reason was. It was the radiator price. Klindorf is dead now, and that's all that we need to celebrate. How did he die? Oh, I think it was a, an anchor onto the face. Good people, you can't me with this barrel yeah, on this this guy gets on the ship. Anchor of We're like pushing the barrel and stuff <laughs> on the rowboat. Where are you going? We're leaving. Your ship? Yeah. yeah. We haven't had time to do any of the work to it because, well, we were waiting for you to get back to prove that you'd done your end of the bargain. Doesn't look like you've done your end of the bargain, so I'm sorry, but no mother of pearl hole for you. Oh, well, we're going to go back in, have we? What do we need to do? I mean, we've we, got, we got, we got ours. Your ship sits proudly in the bay. Yeah. As the light goes down, you notice that Eritrea has climbed aboard and lit some of the famous lanterns. Well, where the fuck are you going? <laughs> I've already gone. I, he's done it already. Oh, I've been like, I've been right. like, like <laughs> you see now, as the light fades, obviously it's daytime, it was daytime, yeah. but now just the sun is diving behind yeah, the horizon yeah, yeah. to produce the cinematic effect yeah. of, oh, wow, the we just now. noticed that the lights on the ship. Yeah. Oh, I see. Are starting to alight. First of all, you see the ship not alight. Oh, look. Oh. It's a lovely high res drawing. That's oh, really that, high That high really is beautiful. It's very good if you. The cast of the it. ship. It's fantastic. And it's phenomenal. But as the sun sets. So detailed. You notice Bob and Knob's oh. lights come on. Oh, that's so good. That's amazing. <laughs> Visually, we're looking at a nighttime shot of the ship and. All different color hues are just lighting up the sails. It is a party There's lasers. Disco heaven. It's beautiful. Bob oh, you got a ship. There is he. There, there he is. is. Titus is in the crow's nest with the wheel that he's installed. Of course, the wheel nothing. system works. It does nothing. It does nothing. It's but it makes a display. Him feel. Eritre, you son of a gun. You did it. This is gorgeous. God, we should have <laughs> Give him a cup I of I really beer. hope we could have cleansed the land of your zombie corruption, but it's, alas. So you've done it. It's good. In a way, we've. We've reduced. You've killed We've reduced. some of them. We've done a bit of a culling. But what about the inherent problem that's causing it? Did you find out what it was? Unfortunately, no. No, no, the, we left. Nothing. We found gold. Well, I guess it'll remain a mystery. It we'll will never always, know. Unless yeah. you know. 
No, I've got no Send idea. Send us a telegram when you find out. Very good. We'll be on the high seas towards... you better uh, see us. The Horn. The Horn. Yeah. You take the Horn well upon such a fantastic ship as this. I wish you legendary adventures and heroic deeds. Thank you. Thank you. And stop stealing things off of islands full of infected Russian people. What is that? I can't imagine that oh. happening twice. No. 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 That's not what you've done, is it? No. no. We wouldn't steal these things. I told you these things were gifts. Well, I've been Lord Eritrey. Nice one. The pleasure. And you still are. And I still am. Bye! And he just jumps into the water. Too late. And just swims down. Wow, there he goes. Trying he, doesn't, he doesn't <laughs> swim the same way I swim. <laughs> that is a, like... I don't, it's <laughs> the, <laughs> different methods. He different. windmills his hands at the elbow. He's from a different sort of, town. I don't know how he's getting any Screws traction. his way down. Yeah. He's like, he, he is from a different oh, place. They teach different things. Right. You can, there's about a thousand different ways you can swim. Really? Yeah. He's well, using one of the like rare the ones. Tritons, it's like the forms, the Jedi yeah. forms. He's a Type 7. Yeah. <laughs> he <laughs> is furious. I don't think he's going to be that efficient. That's no. his energy levels. And are. with the image of Lord Eritre, swimming like a god. <laughs> True god, yeah. Down into the ocean, yeah. the lights of the raw dog illuminate the bay. Wow, for the evening. This is gorgeous. It's either, it's fantastic, but does it not make us somewhat of a target? A, a real beacon, yeah. A real beacon. Row aboard with your Rowboat laden with your goods. Mm. Just as you make bump up to the side of the ship, the ropes are lowered by your first mates. You see on the beach, many zombies and many other mushroom folk have come out to bask in the light show <laughs> that is your ship. There they are. Ooh. We could have stopped there. Should we help? Should we help out Eritrea and just like bomb them or something? Or like fire bomb them? I I've got point, some skills left. I point out all the jewels. Yeah. We got what we got. Yes, yeah. We got what we wanted. And you see a familiar face with a fresh musket hole in it. Oh, look. It's Uncle Klimdorf. Klimdorf, you. And who's that diminutive figure he's got his hand around? Oh, Klimdorf. No. No. Oh, no, Klimdorf. Uh, it was a gnome. It's an adult gnome. Oh, it's, an adult gnome. It's, an adult. it's an adult gnome, it's an gnome. guys. There's nothing it's weird. Worse. He's waving to you. He's waving. Wave to Klimdorf. Don't wave back. Don't wave back. Stop uh, that. Sorry. No, put your hands he's down. He's there hanging a little bag of sweets. No. <laughs> Sword wave. He's learned nothing from death. And that is the end of the part got two. <laughs> oh, God, no. Of, of Don't Booty's go back on the island. Why are you swimming well. back? <laughs> we will return for our penultimate session next Wednesday um, on Twitch.tv. That That's Hat such Jobs. a big word. Uh, penultimate, second to last. Um, and uh, that will involve the journey from this mushroom isle uh, to the Horn, we hope. But we'll see if you guys make it. And decide to make it another 10 episodes. Or we could just chuck in some more stuff. Eagles! There's a whole land of eagles! We could have used these the entire time! <laughs> the pothole eagles! We could have used those all the time! <laughs> no, 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 they're giant eagles that are, are land bound and they have oh. a whole civilization, right. but they don't have hands. They do everything with their wings. Oh, <laughs> right. This place is a mess! <laughs> <laughs> Why is this place so messy? Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, thanks again to our Patreons who've been supporting things like this as well as things like Hat Chat. Um, you can also catch reruns of this on youtube.com slash hatfilms. Uh, which uh, has uh, lovely edits, all the visuals you may be missing out if you're listening to the podcast version of this, which is also available on all podcast stores. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Stores. I need to calm down. <laughs> um, what, have you guys got anything to say? Oh, yeah. Had a great uh, time. Thanks very much Thank for uh, watching all this way. You've done well. So yeah. there's only a few more episodes left. Episodes you've you've left. completed the season, which is pretty nice. Yeah, but that won't be all, but we'll tell you more in the next episode. Goodbye. Bye bye. Oh, bye. and in the next episode, we'll tell you more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and don't forget, in the next episode, there'll be more. There'll be more. Yeah. <laughs> bye. 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 Eagles! Eagle people! Fuck! Ah! Good job! Good job! They don't have hands! They don't have hands! That's so messy.